Welcome to our TED Talk. Oh God, your skin looks radiant. Thank you so much. Wow, I hope they it's my skincare products, guys. I hope the camera picks that up. Echo, stop. Hi. I'm struggling. <laughs> Don't let them see what you're wearing underneath. This is at the top. Party on the bottom. It's like a, it's like a mullet, but for clothes. Hi, I'm Irene. I'm Bailey. We're gonna do Get Ready With Me. Get Ready With Woo. Get Bailey. Ready With Woo. Bailey edition. Featuring Bailey. Yes. Bailey cheated. I cheated. She put on her skincare first. I, I couldn't not. I, I washed my face. I need to put it on. I just, I it's feel okay. incomplete. It's okay. So I didn't. I followed the rules. It's fine. And um, I have this oil. Do bloggers do that? Oh, this is a better <laughs> one. This is Margula Organics. It's oil, face oil. Yeah. So while she's doing that, I'll show you the skincare that I use. Um, I'm on that K Korean brand Ooh. stuff. So I have some essence right here. <laughs> okay, there's, <laughs> there's an essence. So I put that on and it's kind of like the initial like priming yeah, step. My second step is Lancome Genifique. Genifique. I like this. Is it even like not unblurring? I don't know. I follow up with the ordinary Buffett Buffet multi-technology peptide serum. I'm hungry now. This is at Sephora and now it's that Sephora, but I got it on an Amazon. It's only like $15. It's supposed to be great for your skin. And then lastly, I put on sunscreen, which is SPF 30 by Lancome. I can't pronounce um, French. It's Bien Fate multi mm. I don't know. Mm. I'll combine my last two steps. So I use moisturizer and sunscreen as well. So I have this oil elixir from Physician's Formula and some 50 SPF from Biore. Yeah, don't forget your neck. Oh yeah. Your neck and your arms, your neck will show aging first. Yeah, especially after you have kids. But we don't have to worry about that right now, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> You're closer than I am. <laughs> God, I hate kids. I have a little bit of primer right here. This is a nice sample one from Becca, Velvet Blurring Primer. I'm not even gonna try and show it anymore because it doesn't work. We'll list all the products down below. That's what blockers do. Yeah. Right around here where my pores tend to show and then I kind of go up into my forehead because that's like where your foundation will wear off first. So, thank you, Irene. <laughs> You're so kind. And then for my foundation, this is a NARS one. Um, for some reason, they make this the stupidest packaging ever, <laughs> so you have to like do it like this. Oh, you don't have like a... There's no pump. That's weird. Okay, you can pay for a pump, but... Yeah, that's why they want not. I'm not gonna pay. I just dot it all over my face just like that. <laughs> Truly thrilling. I know. Do. Thank you, Apple Watch, for not sponsoring this, but I really highly recommend you buy Apple Watches because they're great. We both have one. We share our activity with each other. It's kind of stalkerish. We also are find my friends together and social media. It's really great. We also live together. Yeah, it really makes you realize what a lazy POS you are yeah. when your friends are out doing stuff and you're in bed watching Netflix by yourself. Oh. I'm not talking about anyone in particular. No, just no, 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 no. I barely watch Terrace House, okay? By the way, Terrace House is one of the greatest shows on Netflix right now. It is so good. I'm literally on season like four now or five. I don't even know, but it's it's great. And I'm literally just like, Arigato gozaimaste. Hi, 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 hi. I don't know what she's saying, but I love Japan. <laughs> Sugoi! What okay. does that mean? Sugoi means wow, great. And then kawaii means cute, which is what well, I know kawaii. Mm -hmm. kawaii. The kawaii culture is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Japan, so I still, that's on my bucket list still. I uh, went to Taiwan. Taiwan's really good. Mm -hmm. When did you go? I went in 2013. You're Taiwanese? I am. I am half Taiwanese, half Chinese. Mm -hmm. Fun facts, guys. What mm -hmm. are you? Um, I'm half Filipino and then half white. That's why I have a lot of freckles because my dad, white side, with the, um, uh, what is it, Ireland? Ireland! Oh, laddie! I'm just kidding. I was, waiting for, the, just kidding. I was <laughs> waiting for the accent to come out. You're a contradiction, laddie! I mean, I honestly could have Scottish. So I'm doing eyeshadow, and this is a really old, it's called Fuller Fudge. It's like a chubby stick by Clinique. What it's, a funny name. I know. <laughs> I'm a chubby, chubby stick. stick on my eyes. I love chubby sticks. <laughs> It's almost been a year, guys. I'm kidding. Oh, what are you talking about? She's not kidding. That's right. the thing. So I put this on the top of my eye lid and just kind of, it's super easy to apply. And then we take a brush, which is like a little angled brush, as you can see, and then just kind of blend it into my eye. 
I'm very lucky because I have very small eyes, so. And while Irina's doing that, I was just setting everything that I just put in uh, with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Hey, I have Laura Mercier too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's my blush. And Which I got from Influencer. Thank you so much, oh, Influencer. I'm still waiting for my box. Oh, I'm so excited. I got her into Influencer. Influencer's great. Yeah. You sign up and you get free samples of beauty products. Mm -hmm. And this month, I'm supposed to get a, a Marc Jacobs concealer. <gasps> And oh my god, so nice. Which is perfect because I'm about to run out of this NARS oh, creamy concealer. So that's so nice. I am thrilled. Half. We got these from BeautyCon. Um, I took Bailey to BeautyCon about two years ago because mm -hmm. I had hookups from work. So thank you very much. Marvin. So I replaced it with this one, which my mom got me from Spain. Aww, Thanks, Mom. That's I love really you. Pretty. Yeah, I like that's that right. Eyeliner? Oh, this is a hard part. Okay. I use Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2 in 1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum, and it's supposed to make your lashes stronger, but I have eyelash extensions. I, I actually used to use that. Lashes. That one's great though. So this one is Kat Von D. Um, it's the thicker one, not the thinner one, so as you can see. And it's the ink liner uh, Trooper. How do you feel about Kat Von D's statements on uh, anti-vaccination and all that? People, people, oh, she's just learning about this for the first time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't keep up with current Pe events. People in the beauty community are up in arms over her statements, you know, which is fair, but... You, what, what happened? She basically just said that she's anti-vax, and, you know, that's a whole controversy these days, anti-vaccination. I'm not really up with current events. It's really bad. People were really like, Jessie. did you hear about R. Kelly and Jesse Smollett? And I was like, what? <laughs> Let's put on the eyeliner. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I just put it on at the top. I can't talk while doing this, mm -hmm. but you just do a nice, thin line at the top. Up. This is actually really scary. I don't like doing this. Like what I done? I feel like the camera can't even tell. Honestly, what matters is if you can tell. You know, uh -huh. is what's inside. I think I did it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I have lash extensions, so putting on eyeliner is like a little bit more difficult because there's like more stuff they're happening, but yeah, did it with Yay. it. Blush? I do bronzer and then blush. Okay. Actually, I don't even wear blush. I wear highlight. Oh, so what do you use? Uh, honestly, this is like a dollar at CVS, and it's wow. NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and I hit pan on it a bit ago, and I use the uh, Real Techniques. Um, it's a blush brush, but I use it for my bronzer. Excellent brush, highly recommend, very affordable. I go in with like NARS Laguna um, afterwards for a little bit more oomph. A highlight, you know, got a little bit of Becca up in here. I do use a different brush. I use uh, this MAC one. I got it, I don't, it's nothing special. Like, so this highlight, it is Champagne Pop. Mm. We're gonna, mm. let's pop some champagne. Pop. I use Laura Mercier, did I pronounce that right? And this Mercier color is rosé. Oh my god, we're really drinking today. And then I use the Luxie brush, dual fiber powder. I got this from Beautycon. Um, I also use a Maybelline Master Highlight. They don't make these anymore, so I bought this off eBay. This is my favorite because as you can see, it's like all these squares and stuff. It's really cool. A nice mix of colors. I know. I top it off with my Kylie Cosmetics Banana Split, which I've only used like once in my life, but it's great, and then I use that with the Kylie brush because she's having a sale and I needed to get free shipping. So I was like, might as well get either pay shipping or get a free brush. So what is it with, uh, I think it's like a millennial thing, like refusing to pay for shipping. I know. I, I, know. I will refuse to pay for shipping. My my brother stopped his Amazon account, so I like oh freaked God. out and I was like, Bailey, I need to buy this cord for my camera. And she's like, I got you, it's fine. I had to abate the oncoming tantrum that was going to happen. Yeah, it was, it was bad, it was very bad. <laughs> I was like, I bye remember. Bye for you. And I don't have Prime, so I had to call my dad. <laughs> I was like, Dad, please, your Prime. Please, like, please, please. I she's gonna freak out. I was right gonna now. have a meltdown. <laughs> I was really close to having a meltdown, not gonna lie. <laughs> but you know, we're 27 now, so we have to subside those meltdowns a little bit. I'm not 27. I'm 27. For the people, I am 24. I'm turning 25 in June. Must be nice. I remember um, when I was 24. I'll post my shipping address below. Sponsor me. Um, sponsor me. I'm gonna go now. I'm still I'm doing. In a I'm still doing a little bit of a, the bronzing action, adding some color to the face. Have you ever been self-conscious about your freckles? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. And I forget I have them, and then people remind me. They're like, Oh my God, your freckles I are forget. so cute. Yeah, I forget. And then I'm like. Oh. Sometimes, like, I look at my face and I'm like, holy crap, I have a lot of freckles. You do. You yeah. have a lot. Huh? Ooh, banana split is wet. Champagne pop. Ooh. Champagne pop. Really nice. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Yeah, I, I didn't, I don't know why I have freckles because I'm not mixed, but I think it was when I was six years old, I went to the beach. I got really, really tan and then I came home and then I like started untanning, but then the spots on my face didn't, they just became freckles. Mm. So I think I just sunburned the shit out of my face and then they became freckles. I thought you were gonna say that you were like a Spider-Man type of creature. <laughs> like the sun just like morphed you and then you got freckles and that was gonna be your story. It's my superpower. Superhero movies are great. Avengers Endgame comes out April 26th. Oh my god, Irene, do you work for Marvel? I don't I, know. I forgot, there's something that I do that you don't do, and that's eyebrows. Oh, I thought you were gonna say trash. Oh, I'm a garbage person, by the way. I literally- She work. drives the trucks. I literally work for a trash company. She drives the trucks, and then she like makes sure, you know, everyone's trash cans are just disposed of and taken to the landfill. She's your girl! I mean, yeah. I, I do this a lot. I'm I do like, rock too. on, rock on. And they would like look at me, and they'd be like, what does that mean? Is it's that a shocker? Satan. <gasps> it means Satan in, in Spain. In Spain? Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so I was doing like really casually like, yeah, like let's do this. And they're like, oh, she's a devil worshiper. Okay, so good to know. Mm -hmm. Whenever I visit Spain, don't do rock on. Mm -hmm. What about peace sign? Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Eyebrows. So oh. I use Tarte Emphasize um, and I've had this longer than I've known Irene. Longer and than I've known oh, wait, my yeah. boyfriend. Longer than I've known anyone in college because I got it before college and I'm still using this. Strange. And that was 2012. How many years ago? Seven years ago? Seven years ago. Wow! Seven years. So, seven years Tarte, ago you were in high school. This is for you. Seven years ago I started. Wait. Yeah, it was your second year of college. Yeah. Second year of college was fun times. I thought you were being sarcastic. Like, no, it was really fun. Something happened to you. A lot of things happened to me. I, 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 I learned. Of, Kind of things, you know. So I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which is cool because it comes with a pencil on the side and then a spoolie, spoolie, a spoolie. on the other side. Mm -hmm. So it's like two in one. Mm -hmm. And so I don't actually normally do my brows, but I just trimmed mine so they're a little thin right now. Irene, you asked me this. If I had to choose out of all the makeup, would for sure be brows because I just feel like it frames my face. Yes. The most. Yes. And I do eyelash extensions, so like I don't need to put on mascara. So my one thing would be brows. That's mm -hmm. why I stand by Tarte Emphasize. Mine is blush. Blush, yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause it, cause I just look really like pale. It makes you look radiant. Yeah, it makes me look half like you have like happier. you have a great smile, and then the blush Thanks. just like. Aww. Takes you next level. Yeah. My one thing would be blush, and yours would be brows. Uh huh. Nice. We're actually pretty fast for girls that get ready. I once had a friend who like took like three hours, and I was like, <laughs> to each their own. You know, we are all different. I accept everyone for who they are. <laughs> Where does that come from? To each their own. Um, I don't know. I only ever hear you say it, and like I like it a lot. Oh. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Well, brows are like the really like the hardest part for me. I actually like. Doing eyeliner is easier than doing brows are for me. See, I probably am not doing brows right. I just fill it in a little bit more so people aren't like, Irene, where are your eyebrows? I know, a guy literally said to me once, he's like, why don't your eyebrows look like, oh, careful. He's like, why don't your eyebrows look like, you know, you know the ABG eyebrows where they're really like Ooh, thick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, and I was like, excuse me? He's like, why, why don't yours look like, you know, the tattoo ones? And I was like, Cause You're I, into that? Because I have real eyebrows. Like, I'm not an ABG, mm -hmm. so maybe that's why. Just to finish off my eyebrows, I, like, set them. But I use this, like, jelly stuff. Mm. Sculpting Brow Mascara mm. from Maybelline. Stuff is great. It's my go-to. Highly recommend. Skincare is very important. You can look beautiful, but if you're not beautiful underneath all the makeup, there's no amount of hiding that can oh, like yeah. fix that. Yeah. So, so it's really important to have skincare. Blessed up with good skin. So, I, I have a zit on my chin right now, but you know, you can't tell. It happens. You really can. So I, use, I have dry skin, so but I that's use, why I use uh, skincare. Rimmel. What a weird name. Rimmel London. Get the London look. Get the London look. Shake it fresh, clump free volume. And I started putting on bottom mascara recently, and I kind of like it. It makes me feel like twiggy. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Big Colossal Shot, which I got for free at Beautycon. You can see how much I pay for my makeup. <laughs> this is from Beautycon too. And I barely have any bottom lashes, so I'm not gonna attempt to on the Bailey right now. Rucker. I'm glad you're not cussing. I'm cussing. I already cussed already. Last but not least, we're gonna do the lips because that's the most important part. Because that's where we kiss. If I had a boyfriend, or if I dated. 
I use Blistex. I've been using this for years now. It is the best. It's Blistex medicated lip balm, which is for herpes because I don't have herpes. But if I did, I'd be using this. Right now I have, it's Mongo Kiss with Mongongo oil, lip balm with a kiss of bliss peppermint. Mm. And it is non-GMO, verified, cruelty-free, recyclable, 100% renewable energy, gluten-free, and a certified B Corporation. Yeah, Bailey's oh, Bailey's Bailey. and fair trade certified ingredients and USD organic. Holy crap, who thought that, go Ecolips. Oh my God, this is like, Bailey is a hippie and the most organic person I know. But <laughs> she literally has a um, garden on her balcony. Par parsley, chives. And green onions that I brought to the home. <laughs> and uh, mint. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna plant basil soon because <gasps> it's springtime. Yes. Okay, I'm using Revlon Metallic Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, M-A-T-T-E. I'm using a oldie but goodie. Everybody knows and loves Lolita by yes. Kat Von D. We're trying something new today. Oh, okay. I need to drink water. My lips are dehydrated. I know, me too. I have a hydro flask, like every other millennial, minus Irene, and it's a 32 ounce, which is four cups, and I drink at least two of those per day. Oh, okay, yeah, Um, which is what you're supposed to eat cups of water. So, stay hydrated, y'all. Yeah. So that's it. As a get ready with. Bailey and Irene, Irene and Bailey, and on the next episode, we will be consuming cookies and alcohol and try to do the same exact thing. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, bye. Bye.